All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab is in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got um, this little thing, it's an interesting one. I've got the Black Mirror Design haptic coin right here with me for a review. We're going to analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this little fella. But hey, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. If you are in the business for fidget toys, you can also check out fablades.com and see what is going on up there. So let's go ahead and check the measurement of this uh, uh, fella right over here. Right there. Uh, it's going to be 1.49, 1.5 inches across with a thickness of 0.47 inches. So it's uh, it's not too big. It's classic haptic coin size, but it's kind of thick. Uh, it looks pretty simple. Design is very, uh, like, it looks like a nut, you know, a bolt and a nut, like an hexagonal uh, shape with some chamfer going on all around. Uh, this area over here is flat, and then you have uh, some um, circles going uh, deep, like you see right over there. It's like a uh, concave. Uh, same thing on both sides. This is the serial number. It's number 10. I'm not sure how many were made of these. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, the stainless steel uh, version. And uh, inside, you're going to see the structure, which is actually interesting. I mean, it has the classic uh, uh, configuration of uh, six magnets per side to attract the... the, the the, the, the parts together with some uh, uh, needle bearings, roller bearings, just to um, add a little bit of uh, uh, thickness so the two parts are not rubbing against each other, right over there, and uh, to give a little bit of smoothness. But there is something very interesting, like this ball over here, it just comes off. And uh, it just, it's magnetic. And if you just leave it there, it's gonna stay there. And it's gonna be attracted by these magnets in that position. If you just pop it out, boom, it's just gonna be there. So that's a very interesting thing. It's not hinged or anything. Um, so very clever uh, construction to have this ball just right there and it's not gonna go anywhere. I mean, you can maybe like push it out like that and then just goes inside and doesn't leave anywhere. Um, it's not really a spinner, but close. Like imagine it would be pretty cool like to be able to hold the ball and just spin this thing, but it's just not happening. This is just a haptic coin with a very low noise attached to it. It's kind of smooth. There's not much grip to it, but because of this chamfer and these uh, um, grooves, it kind of works very well. So no complaints. The action it's a pretty cool one i mean it's very simple i think this is like in the 80 bucks so relatively cheap uh, uh, haptic coin for you guys in a limited edition it's an old one pretty hard to uh, get uh, let's also check the weight because there's some uh, substantial weight to this thing is going to be the uh, steel i'm assuming to contribute to get this thing to 3.48 ounces so just keep that in mind not super light but it's pretty cool looking, very minimal uh, design. The sound is not too loud and the feel, it's pretty okay. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.